Hey guys, Francesco here. Uh, okay, so we're going to get right into it. Uh, the video was supposed to be only about Bar Corton's Swan Chisel. I recently saw on the uh, Timber Framers Guild uh, Facebook page, a, uh, a Facebook user was asking about how to clean out the bottom of a mortise. And I recommended to him, and so did Bar was in there, about uh, picking up a Swan Chisel. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna do my best. I'm in my shop here, also known as my garage. Uh, and we'll get to that. So the point is I'm gonna do all my chisels, okay? I have five um, of Barr's chisels, his framing chisels. I, you know, I like nice stuff, obviously. Um, I believe in buying quality tools, as you probably do. And I assembled these uh, chisels over a span of about two years. So I didn't just go out and spend all the money, even though if you want to, that's great. If you got the money, do it. Whether you got to buy the chisel slowly, even if you just have one, that's fine. But I'm a big fan of Bar. I've met Bar uh, in Idaho. I, I, I went to his shop in uh, McCall, Idaho. He's a fantastic guy and his wife as well um, is, a, is a wonderful person. They're, they're great. So this video is overdue. All right. And you, you see, I got my little bar tools, specialty tools shirt, which he hooked me up with a long time ago. Just never got around to doing the video. So let's do it. All right. Uh, again, this is not like a demo or anything. I'm just going to kind of show, show you the tools and let you know what I think about them. Okay. So the first, let's just start with the smallest size is going to be a one inch. Okay. So here is here is the one inch. Um, you can kind of see it's about the size. That's the bottom. See the hardened steel right there? See that right there? The base of it. Anyways, it's just a beautiful tool. I got this one. I'm doing a Montana cabin build. I'm actually uh, working on my bunkhouse now in Montana. And so I haven't used this one yet. I've done a little bit of work with it, but but look at the handle. It's It's new brand new so I like this one to just kind of do like you know little you know just a little get into tight spaces so I figured hey it doesn't hurt um, the one inch so I love this thing uh, I know I'm gonna be using it a lot the one inch framing chisel this thing is gonna get some work done okay just like for like little fine-tuning okay when you're you know cutting a, a tenon or or whatever you're doing uh, I, I love it. So that's that. And then I, I made, you know, a little, I do leather work. So I do make little uh, sheaths for it, for mine. Okay. Now my most used and my favorite, the inch and a half right here. You can see it's, I've had this the longest. Uh, this has some linseed oil in it. So it's darkened it up, but it's been used the most. I love it. Um, I mean, they're all the same. They're just, you know, different, uh, different, uh, widths. Okay. So the inch and a half, if you could only have one chisel, I would recommend the inch and a half. A lot of people like the two inch. A lot of people like the inch and a half. I'm a fanboy of the inch and a half. When I reach on the bench, uh, for a chisel to do whatever, a tenon or whatever, I'm, almost always going to go for the inch and a half but second to that you can probably guess i'm going to do the two inch okay the two inch is fantastic i don't know if you can kind of get a um a size uh i don't know what the word is if you can gauge the size based on it next to my face but look at that it's beautiful it's fantastic I'm a fanboy for a reason. I like good stuff. What do they say? Buy once, cry once. I think that's the saying. So that's the two inch. And then here is the um, the corner chisel of bar. Now look at this. You can kind of see it. I'm using my phone, okay? It's kind of hard to see, but let's see. Let me tap the phone here. If you can see that. Oh, it's kind of having a hard time focusing. 
Anyways, there's a little tip right, yeah, there you go, you can see it right there. Okay, that's to set your, uh, your chisel in the corner, okay? And then this is a 7 eighths. Um, it's just a, obviously under an inch, so it's ideal. Um, and then you can see, see the, uh, the steel right there, hardened on the back. And then look at the inside. Look at that, all the hand forged, look at that. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So that's the corner chisel, which I've used and is a dream. It works fantastic. Check that out too, look at that little detail. I mean, it's just beautiful. Okay, and then this is a kind of a, my little uh, leather sheath. And then this is what the video was about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Is uh, the Swan Chisel, the most underrated framing chisel that you need to have. Need, you need to have it. You don't know you do, but once you use it, you will realize it. If you're doing a, mar a mortise, at the bottom of the mortise, you're going to have all kinds of craziness. You want to get it nice and flat, okay, for that tenon to, to, uh, to lay flat in that mortise. Well, this is going to clean out all the stuff. You're going to drop the framing chisel into the mortise and then clean the bottom out just like this, okay? I'm telling you, this right here, go to Barr's website. If, you're in, if you want to have... A smoother mortise um, cutting I guess operation get this not only is it awesome to look at but it works okay there's nothing worse I just hit my arm on my metal roofing here for the bunkhouse there's nothing worse than getting something that looks cool but doesn't work this looks cool and it works great I'm telling you it's a great investment go to bartools.com I believe is his website and pick this up, the swan chisel. That's it. All right, guys. Um, sorry if I'm yelling. I'm very passionate about his chisels. All right. Well, guys, um, I'm just a guy in the garage, in uh, you know, at home. I'm building a uh, a cabin right now. I'm doing the bunkhouse in Montana. If you guys would like to follow me, subscribe to my channel. This is my first of these kind of videos. And I, uh, I'm glad I did the video because Barr, his, his craftsmanship, Main USA, his, uh, just his character, he is worthy of a good review and an honest review. And that's what that was. So go pick one up. Uh, even if it's one at a time, I highly recommend his chisels. Uh, I like to work with good people, people that are reliable and that have integrity. And Barr Corton is one. Okay, guys, take care.